Hey everyone, this is a guitar tutorial for I Believe by Bethel Music featuring Jonathan and Melissa Helser. Before we begin, please consider subscribing to my channel or give this video a like and comment below on what else you'd like to see in the future. Additionally, if you're interested in any of the gear that you see today, there are links in the description below. Alright, grab your acoustic guitar and a capo and let's get started. All right, so you'll notice that my capo is on the third fret. That means that this song is in the key of B flat. So you're gonna to need to know the following chords, but we're gonna be playing in G, so no fancy chords today. We're just gonna be playing in G to match the original key. So here you go, G, C, E minor, and D. And that's really it. There's no A minor or anything in there. It's just G, C, E minor, and D. There's a special chord progression that happens right before the bridge, but those chords move very, very fast, and I call it the step down. So let me show you what I'm talking about, and then we'll ease into the beginning of the song. Here's the step down without me speaking over it. Okay, so I'm going from a G chord to D over F sharp to E minor. That's the first half of the step down. That's more the bass notes. Three, two, open on the low E string. If you can't do those chords really quick. G, D over F sharp, E minor. The next half of the step down is E minor, D, C. And it looks like this. Now notice I didn't move my pinky off of the 3rd fret high E string, so a little slower. E minor with the pinky and ring finger on the B and high E strings respectively, 3rd fret. D, and you can keep your pinky down on that 3rd fret, and C. So once again, that whole step down sequence, G, D over F sharp, E minor, E minor, D, C. And that happens twice right before the bridge. So keep that in mind before you play the song. When you play the beginning of the song, it's just the piano, and I don't believe the acoustic guitar plays, and if they do, it's very, very low in the mix. You could match the piano player, and it sounds like this. You can also play it with a C chord. So I was using a G and a G suspended there, and I'm just putting my index finger on the B string. Now later on in the actual song, I'm gonna show you how to play it with C, and I think that might be easier for those of you who just like to do this motion with your C and G chords. So I'm playing a G chord, and then I just bump the middle finger and index finger down a string, and I get a C2, technically. So here's that intro playing it that way. And there you have it. Now again, you don't have to do it if your keyboarders can handle it, but it might be nice if you don't have a piano player and you can cover that part. All right, guys, don't worry. I'm gonna say the chords as we go along through the song and I might try to cover the strumming pattern after the fact. So get ready, here we go. C, G, C, G, C, G, C, G. C, G. G suspended. G. G suspended. G. E minor. C. G. E minor. D. C. This is 
suspended. G. G suspended. G. E minor. C. G. E minor. D. C. G. C. G. E minor. D. C. D. G. C. G. E minor. D. C. G. Step down E minor here. Step down C. C. G. G. 
see. Hold that C. G. C. G. E minor. D. C. D. G. C. G. E minor. D. C. G. I hope that I was able to help you out with that tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button and comment below on what else you'd like to see in the future. I don't have time to go over too many strumming patterns, but basically you can just pick a good eighth note strumming pattern and a gallop pattern. Um, you can watch other videos to help you out and get inspiration, but just worship with this song. It's a great song and don't get caught up in the technicalities of it all. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. I appreciate you guys. Have a great week. God bless.